Hey guys, it's Bree. Um, <laughs> welcome back. Yes, this is my dinosaur dress. Uh, <laughs> this past week was a lot of fun for me. I got to read a lot of new upcoming releases. One of those releases was Cameron Hurley's The Geek Feminist Revolution. Cameron won the Hugo Award for an essay she wrote a couple of years ago called We Have Always Fought, which is a fantastic um, essay about women and their role in combat and revolution. She got her MA studying revolutions in South Africa. She's extremely articulate, very bright, um, and just a very interesting person to get to know and listen to. I'm going to link to her blog, but also to her live interview that she did here on BookTube with me and a couple of other folks. Cameron's new book, The Geek Feminist Revolution, is a collection of essays and blog entries that she has written, um, along with some new and kind of unique to the book entries. They revolve around power structures and things like the publishing industry and the ways that women are seen in it, or science fiction and what is the role of women in science fiction, what does it mean to be a fake geek girl kind of deal. Um, like every time Cameron does something essay-ish, it's fantastic and articulate and just well-spoken. She is a phenomenal author and she has a very unique voice. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of cursing and a lot of hard hits thrown. She's not pulling punches in this one. And I think that that's a really valuable thing. Um, one of the interesting conversations that she has, she has two interesting ones that I, I've been really thinking about. One of the really interesting essays is about going from being the outsider to being kind of the man. Um, she's reached a lot of success and while Cameron started a lot of her career in blogging and kind of deconstructing some of the archetypes and stereotypes that we have um, regarding people of color and women and people with disability. It, it's a lot harder to be someone who does that when you are kind of in power and well-respected and things like that because you have more to risk. And she talks very openly about how she's not as confrontational as she used to be. And she's open about that and the changes in the power structure and how it's affected her writing. One of the other things that Cameron writes about in the book is this time in South Africa when she was living there. And she was at a, a bus stop and some men were kind of heckling this woman who was standing next to her and she just explodes at them. Um, and the interesting thing was not necessarily the kind of outburst, right? But she says in there, people must have thought I was crazy, but it's all a continuum. And it, that really struck me, um, the ways that outrage isn't over a single issue really ever. It's always this series of things that have built and how little things that you get upset about are almost always just an extra straw on the camel's back. And I've been thinking about that one a lot lately, particularly because it's like explosion season on booktube. Um, <laughs> but if you haven't yet read anything by Cameron Hurley, you should go to her blog and definitely check out some of the stuff she does. I'd really highly suggest picking up The Geek Feminist Revolution. I think it's a fantastic collection. And I think that it's one you'll be glad to read, especially if you are a fan of SFF. Again, I'm going to link the live show that was done a couple months ago with Cameron down in the description box. Um, I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.